All right, hey everybody. Uh, I'm back with a quick video of uh, my ported W5 head. I didn't uh, get this done at Charlie's, which which would have been good, but this is the same casting as the other cylinder head that we put on the flow bench and just tested as in the out of the box state. Now, this cylinder head I sent out and I had Brett Miller ported. Thanks, Brett. Awesome job. Sorry I haven't gotten to run them, but life gets in the way. You know how that works. And I figured I'd break out uh, the video to show you a few of the mods. Here we could see where the valve spring pocket, I don't know why the Mopar ran them so deep, but you have to cut a trough in them. This way, the oil will come out and down back into the engine instead of sitting in that very, very deep cup, which is just nothing more than giving your valves a bath and it, there's, there's no reason for it. Um, let me see what else. Blue plug casting, just like the other one. And unfortunately, while Brett was porting this head, uh, these cylinder heads lived up to their problem port was thin here and it gave up the ghost put a flashlight up there and uh there we go now we can see it a whole lot better and it's unfortunate brett called me up he's like dude I'm as far as i can go i put epoxy in it it'll be great i was like all right you can see in this port the dicom charlie sprayed you can see a little bit of the pattern let me, let me try and this way a little bit let me get it in here and you can see a little bit i'll flip the head over you can see how the dicom went now remember the dicom is heavier than the fuel so it 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 doesn't really have like this awesome look but if you know what you're looking at and realize the dicom is heavy it kind of follows a certain path and it doesn't really spread around a lot. Being that gasoline is a lot lighter. And you can see, let me see if I can get it in there a little bit better. You can see some of that dicom on the back of the valve and a little bit on the on the far side. Now the fuel will go to the naked side a little bit more, but generally speaking, this is the most likely way the path is going to travel. Fuel likes to go in a straight line, just like air. It has weight, that's kind of what it does. You can see a little work done on the uh, chamber. Just very, very light work. You're gonna have to check out the other video that I did prior, and especially you should go to uh, Charlie's, Charlie Servito's uh, uh, head porting site, where he does a lot of porting on a lot of different cylinder heads. And when we put the stock one up, you could see a little bit of relief and a little bit of uh, work done in this area where it's smoothed out and put a, you know, you smooth this out and put a texture in it as opposed to the as cast. These valves are titanium. This is a 205 and that's a 1.6. I don't remember the valve links. I should definitely find that out for you guys. All right, hold on while I make a mess of this video. around the other way sorry about that fellas let's take a look down the exhaust port a little later in the next video I'm gonna make my own graph and I'll show you the numbers that Charlie got on his bench these exhaust ports these ports are just I mean they're just flowing air like mad these awesome job awesome awesome job Mr. Miller does excellent work. The intake ports do very, very well. It's a darn shame they gave up the ghost. There's the head. The numbers on that. Got the little casting M over there. That's really about it. So, at least I get to show this head a little bit. You remember these W5s are like the race W2s. It has the milled rocker stands. You can use uh, some old crane, old Mopar performance units to uh, 
bolt these down. And then of course you also have TD and Jessel valve train that will pop on here. And you have to know your valve length when you order these parts from Jessel and TD. They're gonna wanna know how, you know, how long your valve is. And of course, probably how much you're lifting your cam. But that's the cylinder head. And the next video, I'm gonna bring up some homemade graphs. And I'll make some flow charts to show you the before and after the ASCAST versus this ported head. So stay tuned. And I'll get that video for you guys in just a little bit. All right. Till next video.